realized that there was a need for historic homes to be used for entertaining, whether it be for weddings or grand galas for conventions and things like that. So I, I went out to try to find a location that I could use to develop for fine entertaining. And uh, after searching for two years, I'd kind of given up and then all of a sudden Homeless House came up for sale and I got it under contract the day after it was listed. This was the uh, base camp, if you want to call it that, for the Homeless Indians. They planted the trees here, the alley of trees, the grand live oaks here, uh, as a gateway from the Mississippi River and the alley of trees brought you to the mound where the Indians had their celebrations and where they lived. In 1770 they sold the property to Alexander Latiel, who's a Frenchman who built the original French house here in 1770 and it was a small trading post house. Then there were a succession of sales and in 1812 Wade Hampton bought the property to develop it as a sugarcane plantation and he built the big house, which is known as the Homeless House house today, in the front. And it went through a series of transitions, changes, uh, through a 20-year period to what you see today. His wife said she wouldn't live in the swamps of Louisiana unless he built her a temple. In 1828, they added the grand colonnade around the house to make it a temple, and she came and moved here. Culture, architecture, gardens, and fine dining. We do all sorts of events here from grand galas for conventions as well as weddings. And weddings happen to be one of our major sources of business today. We've built two ballrooms where we fulfill all the dreams of brides who want to get married just like the weddings in Gone with the Wind and other such famous movies. So we're running tourism, we're doing historic renovation, we have 38 beautiful acres of gardens for people to stroll through. So it's not sitting on the porch having mint juleps. The approach I had on developing the site was to preserve the historic value of the house and the history of the house, but also to allow it to bring in entertainment, dining, and, and different things that people may want to do at a historic home. Um, I've traveled my whole life visiting historic homes, and my favorite is the Biltmore House in Asheville, North Carolina. And they have taken a historic house and created a winery. They've created several hotels, bed and breakfasts, and things like that. And it's those things that were done there that gave me the idea of what I could do at Homeless House. We have now three restaurants here. This is our most recent, the Carriage House Restaurant. And it's a very elegant room, as the ballrooms would have been in, in the day when they were built. But it's a little larger than what would be normal for a house. This is where uh, we serve a more casual fine dining. Um, beautiful atmosphere, but you can come dressed as you are. and try the delicacies of Louisiana. We also built cottages here, and uh, the cottages are very luxurious rooms. There's 21 rooms that can house 70 people, and it allows you to spend several days at Homeless House at a time, so you can really take it in. Many times when people come to a place like this, they may check in at five o'clock in the afternoon and check out at 10 o'clock the next morning. You can't take in a property like this under that basis. So you should really stay a little bit longer so that you can have breakfast, have lunch, have dinner, and experience what the property is. The gardens are magnificent, and unless you take the time to casually stroll through them, you just don't realize what they are. The gardens are constantly changing. Uh, there are four distinct seasons here, and the gardens reflect those seasons. And you can come every two weeks and see new things blooming and, and the changes that are taking place. So it's very important to have these changes so that people won't just come for one visit and think, oh, we've been there, done that, not returning. By having the gardens changing and the restaurants changing and everything else which changes around here, it makes people want to come at least four times a year. Um, it's very difficult to get your first customer to come that first time. Um, but once they come here, they enjoy it so much, they become repeat visitors. I feel I failed if I can't get you to come here four times a year because it's just truly different each time you come here. We're just south of Gonzales. We're on the River Road, and most people know where the Tanger Outlet Mall is or Cabela's, and we always tell them we're just one exit towards New Orleans from there. It's very easy to find, and we would hope that people would come and stay at the inn, and just truly experience what we've created at Homeless House because it's quite unique and we think it's one of the wonderful places to visit in America. Our website is www.homeshouse.com. We're on Facebook, of course, as Homeless House Plantation and Gardens and um, we're friendly with all social media.